I'm Grace Fulsis. And I'm Grantham Green. Today is November 23rd, and welcome back to Irish Update. Last Friday, the boys football team played in their semi-final game at the bank and came out on top over Eden Prairie with a 14-10 win. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. What an amazing night at the bank with an attendance of over 5,000 people rooting for our boys to win it all. Now we have just one more game to go. We will play the only other undefeated team in our division, Maple Grove, on Friday, December 2nd. Once again, the team is looking to pack the bank for another RHS whiteout. Let's go Irish. And we have some more championship news coming from the district's adapted soccer program. The PI team won the state championship this Saturday, November 9th. We were down 3-1, to one, but turned it around with a 4-3 to three final. Our team has two RHS students, Amisha Etter and Reese Martin, who both played some of their best soccer of their lives. And the CI team won two great games to advance to the state finals as they defeated North Tartan 11-0 and Stillwater Matamidi 2-0. In the championship game, they ran into the powerhouse Blazing Cats of Burnsville, Farmington, and Lakeville. And despite a great effort, they came out on the short end with a 7-4 score and finished as a state runner-up. Rosemont High School athletes include Colin Price, Andrew Nathy, Mark Wathen, and Miles Johnson. Reese Martin and Miles Johnson were both named to the All-State Tournament team after an amazing effort on both offense and defense. Congratulations to all six of our Rosemont athletes of an amazing season. Our girls hockey team just keeps on rolling with a 3-0 victory over the Lightning last Sunday. They had goals coming from Sophie Strammel, Annalie Holzer, and Justice Snippes in a 21-shot shutout from Avery Miller. Then just last night, they defeated Shakopee 5-1. Congratulations, ladies. Keep it up. And while we're on the topic of our hockey teams, boys and girls are hosting their Hockey Fights Cancer Night on December 10th, but the last day to buy Irish Hockey Fights Cancer gear is this Saturday, November 26th. We hope to see you all there. And one last sports shout-out to, is needed to our RHS Trap Team, who placed third in the conference this fall season with the eight students placing in the top 25 in the conference. Macy Nelson placed fourth, Owen Menzing fifth, Remington Steimer eighth, Isabella Blas ninth place, Dora Belly Kranz tenth, Celeste Balgan 17th, Thatcher Buck 21st, and Abby Luer 22nd. Congratulations to all eight of you and everyone on the trap team. Turning from sports to clubs, with the holiday season coming, it is time to get baking. Here's what the RHS Baking Club is always looking for culinary masters to have some fun making delicious desserts after school. Here's what some of the members have to say. Hi, I'm Bentley. Hi, I'm Kira, and we're the presidents of the Baking Club. So if you want to join Baking Club, there are still signs hung up around the school that you can scan the QR code. Um, the nice thing about our club is you can join or just do it monthly. So if you're an athlete or have other after school activities and can't commit to like a full club, you sign up for every month that you can actually come. So I just posted on My Payments Plus the week before. Your parents sign you up for that meeting and you're good to come. Um, no long term commitment, come as you want, which is awesome. I'm Vivian and I'm a ninth grader. I'm Emma and I'm a ninth grader. Um, I'm Brayden, I'm a junior. And I'm Kyle, I'm also a junior. I would say I'm an experienced baker. Um, I've been baking since I was little and I just really love it. I'm very, I'm very much a beginner. Beginner. Um, I've baked I think a few times, but I'm pretty much a beginner. Uh, I'd say I'm also probably a beginner baker. 
I joined Baking Club because I felt like it'd be a really good way to connect with people and I just felt like it'd be really fun to like bake with my friends, so yeah. One of my friends made me do it, but I also just wanted to like try out baking. Yeah. Warm. Friends. Yeah. Our first meeting was a huge success. We had so much fun and made some awesome cookies. We hope you'll join us in our December meeting. No matter what your skill level you're at, the Baking Club is always accepting new members. Head on over to My Payments Plus to sign up. Also, a quick announcement regarding the Magic, the Gathering Club. Today's meeting has been canceled, but the group will reconvene next Wednesday after school in room 223. All are welcomed. And our debate team had a great past couple of days. Saad Selim went undefeated to win the JV Policy Division at the UM Brooks Tournament at the University of Minnesota. And over at Robinsdale Birds of Prey Tournament, Julia Alex finished with a 4-1 to one record, losing only to the tournament champion. And at the same time, placed 5th in Varsity LD. Amazing job to our debate team. And did you know that 12.7 million tons of plastic are dumped into our oceans every year? A good portion of that waste is from plastic shopping bags. The Environmental Science Club wants to do something to help. They're hosting a plastic bag drive at our school from December 5th to the 9th. There will be cardboard bins around the school where you can drop off your bags. Dropping these bags off will ensure that they are resourcefully reused or recycled instead of hurting the environment. So be sure to bring in your plastic bags. And seniors, I hope you got your T2 parking passes because of today, juniors now can order theirs. Guide over to My Payment Plus to purchase your pass. Sophomores, if you want to be entered in the parking pass lottery, see Mr. Bakken to be entered. With the end of the trimester quickly approaching, we have a message from Principal Roback to share with you all. Take a look. Hello, Rosemount High School. This is Mr. Roback. As we approach the end of the first trimester, now is a good time to make sure work and all class requirements are completed and turned in. It is also an important time to work with your teachers and other staff who can help and support you finish T1 on a positive note. Keep in mind that we will follow our final schedule on the last two days of the trimester, Wednesday, November 30th, and Thursday, December 1st. Look for detailed finals information in Schoology and also from your advisory teachers. With the Thanksgiving holiday tomorrow, it is a good reminder and opportunity to reflect on the Irish way value of the month for November, which is gratitude. I am grateful for so many things here at Rosemount High School. I am grateful for our positive culture and community pride, which is unmatched by any other school. I am grateful for individual student differences, perspectives, and learning styles. I am grateful for the diversity that exists at Rosemount High School and the opportunity to learn from each other and respect different cultures and beliefs. I am grateful for the awesome teachers and staff members who care for and support students and who are experts in teaching and learning. And I am grateful for this traditional start to the school year, which has allowed students to make the most of their opportunities in and out of the classroom and excel in all things AAA related, academics, arts, and athletics. And have we ever excelled so far this year? I'm so grateful for the Rosemont High School learning community. Make it a great day, RHS, and as always, go Irish. Thank you for that message, Mr. Roback. And finally, we like to end with a look back at our Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament that we hosted during advisory two weeks back. I'm sure the runners-up remember as well. And if not, no worries. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that Friday. Congratulations to Principal Roback for winning the whole thing. It definitely wasn't rigged, but anyways. 
That's all we have for today. There will be no show for you to finals. So will you see all you all in 2T now. From all of us here at Irish Chef Day, have a great Thanksgiving and best of luck on your finals. <laughs>